<laughs> oh my goodness. So a few weeks ago we talked about uh, you know the state of California, the California Energy Commission was going to mandate higher performance on HCTVs. Well, the Plasma Display Coalition has freaked the delete expletive out. They call the recent, well, they basically they're calling what the California Energy Commission said about plasma TVs a misinformation campaign using outdated information about plasma TVs and it quotes energy statistics for models never sold in the U.S. and that it can pretty much completely ignores the plasma TVs that have been manufactured under the current Energy Star specs. Um, yeah, the PDC, basically the, the Plasma Display Coalition, I want yes. to say, that believes that the, the CEC mob. should be concentrated on getting old gla analog glass tube CRTs out of home and replacing them with Energy Star certified products that are already in the market, citing their own stats where a 36 inch CRT can easily consume close to 300 watts. That's approximately twice the energy of a current 42-inch plasma. And, of course, the plasma TV is displaying considerably more information on the screen. Oh, my goodness. Plasma manufacturers are pissed. The CEA is pissed. And I'm quite sure somebody in Washington is pissed, too. We just haven't heard from them yet. It's been, it's been funny, actually, to watch the sort of, like, the, the, this, there's this giant press release. It's a great read. We'll link to it in the show notes. And there's a star. It's just good to see that kind of service out there that the manufacturers really pay attention to right. because it has really dramatically lowered power consumption for television products mm -hmm. and all other many consumer electronics categories as well but in particular for TVs just in the last few years literally 50 percent reductions right. I've seen especially in the LCD side plasmas I never thought would be able to get Energy Star certification they're doing it although usually you're not going to see nearly as bright of a picture in a mm -hmm. brightly lit room as you will out of an LCD screen. It's interesting. And you look, plasmas are, are, I think, are in a lot of ways against the ropes, probably just because LCDs have become so competitive. But yeah, boy, the you know, it's, it's fun to watch political arguments about television screens. It's kind of amusing. How about a little bit of cheerful news then? I Actually, I do have cheerful news. In, in Well, in more cheerful news, one of my favorite set-top players, Western Digital's WDTV, the HD media player from the hard drive manufacturer, has gotten an upgrade. They now have a version with an Ethernet jack. Yay. That means the set-top box is no longer hard drive only. It's called the WDTV Live Media Player. It's a good upgrade. We just need to add support for like Netflix, Amazon, Hulu, you know, pretty much everything else out there for media playback. But it will you know, not only will it play from a local hard drive, it'll basically stream content over your home network. Nice addition to a, a very clean little box. I'll be curious to see if they have like DLNA support for simplified streaming from like your NAS device or something like that. I believe they do. We are amassing a, a gigantic pile of set dot players. Uh, you guys keep sending in suggestions to us to hdnation at revision3.com and, and probably next week. I think we're going to end up doing one a week for now until probably at least like the end of the year. There are that many of them out there.